Good morning and a warm welcome to your show, Sunny Mornings in San Diego. We're the daily podcast that gets you started on the right foot and always with a positive vibe. I'm your host, Melissa, and it's Thursday, November 30th. You'll be interested to know today is National Computer Security Day. Today demands our attention because cybersecurity affects everything from where we bank and how we spend our money to who we elect to public office. We certainly don't want a replay of my doom, the worst email virus in history, which caused $38.5 billion in damage. So let's get educated on staying safe online. 25 more days until Christmas, folks. Now let's check out the weather in the San Diego area. This morning, it's mostly cloudy and 55 degrees with 92% humidity and light sprinkles. Tonight, the sun will set at 4.42 p.m. and it will rise again tomorrow at 6.32 a.m. It looks like we're in for a day of a little clouds and chance of showers. Mostly cloudy with a high near 64. Light west wind increasing to five to 10 miles per hour in the morning. Winds could gust as high as 20 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation is 50%. New precipitation amounts of less than a tenth of an inch possible. Tonight, a chance of showers. Mostly cloudy with a low around 54. Southwest wind five to 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation is 30%. Looking ahead, things should clear up for the weekend. Now here is some info from surfline.com. Thursday offers another day of fun zone surf. West-northwest swell still holds and small south-southwest pulse lingers. A storm spinning just off the coast delivers a fun pop of shorter to mid-period westerly swell that holds most of the day. Consistent widespread waste to chest high waves at spots with fair exposure, while better breaks sea shoulder to head high sets. Beach breaks continue to have fairly peaky shape from the swell combo. Friday will see the size, edge up at the winter exposures, but quality isn't as good across the board. As our area of low pressure will have elevated northerly wind for many areas Friday. San Diego wind along the immediate coast may stay little lighter and more variable. Expect widespread waste to chest high surf to continue. The first high tide today will be six feet just before 10 a.m. with a minus half foot low tide at 5.30 p.m. The nearshore buoy at Scripps in La Jolla reads 62 degrees for the water temperature. In the national weather, heavy rainfall for Hawaii, severe weather potential increasing across the south. Snowfall downwind of the Great Lakes will slowly diminish through the day. A system tracking across California is forecast to intensify across the Southern Plains through Thursday. Severe weather and heavy rainfall are possible from Eastern Texas through the lower Mississippi Valley into Friday. Meanwhile, Kona Low to the Northwest of the Hawaiian Islands will bring a chance of flash flooding. And now a greeting from our sponsor. Bonjour, food enthusiasts. This podcast is brought to you by Versailles Cafe and Pastries in Encinitas. Nestled on El Camino Real South, just north of Encinitas Boulevard, this cafe is a haven for culinary delights. Indulge in the divine experience of their amazing Eggs Benedict or their gluten-free crepes. You can grab a panini during lunch or just breeze through to get your morning coffee. They are open every day from eight to five, so stop on by and grab a coffee and pastry to go. And don't forget to tell them Sunny sent you. In top news, a severe geomagnetic storm is expected to hit Earth, potentially leading to significant displays of the northern lights, visible as far south as Oregon, Wyoming, and Illinois. The storm is predicted to be G3+, according to NASA's model. The best time to see the aurora is forecasted for Thursday and Friday, with a coronal mass ejection arriving on Friday, December 1st. The solar flare responsible for the storm caused three separate coronal mass ejections on the sun. Now let's talk science and technology. 
Astronomers have discovered six of Neptune's in synchronized orbits around a star about 20% smaller than the Sun. Sub-Neptunes are common in the Milky Way galaxy, but absent from our solar system, making them a mystery. These planets, located around 100 light years from Earth, exhibit a rare condition called orbital resonance, indicating stable orbits since their formation about 4 billion years ago. The discovery offers insight into the nature of sub-Neptunes, and scientists hope the James Webb Space Telescope will provide more answers about their composition and potential habitability. And in the stock market. Stocks meandered after FedSpeak and robust GDP data. The Dow gained slightly, while the S&P 500 and NASDAQ dipped a smidge. The Federal Reserve hints at a potential rate cut, with Governor Waller expressing openness if inflation cools. Influential investor Bill Ackman bets on an early rate cut, predicting it by Q1. Bonds surged, pushing the 10-year Treasury yield to 4.27%. Revised Key 3 GDP data revealed a 5.2% growth rate. In the market, speculative areas rose, marking a FOMO trading trend. That is, fear of missing out, for those learning the new lingo. Netflix aims to enhance its gaming catalog with the Grand Theft Auto trilogy. GM announces a $10 billion buyback plan, lifting shares by 10%. GameStop soars over 20% amid increased call option bets. CrowdStrike's strong financials propel shares up by 10%. And finally, to cap off the financial news, Cigna and Humana consider a blockbuster merger impacting stock prices. Moving on to sports. The New York Jets face challenges as Aaron Rodgers attempts to return to practice. With the 2023 season in disarray, Head coach Robert Sala faces job security concerns. The absence of Rodgers has exposed team vulnerabilities, leading to speculation about Sala and general manager Joe Douglas's futures. Rodgers' determined return, despite a torn Achilles, may influence late-season narratives, potentially staving off significant firings. The quarterback's impact on the team's trajectory and the looming decision for the 2024 season hinges on his successful return and performance in December. Tonight on Thursday Night Football, the 6-5 and five Seahawks are on the road against the 8 and 3 Cowboys on Amazon Prime. And in the NBA, last night, the Lakers on the road beat the Pistons 133-107. Tonight, they stay on the road against the Thunder. The Clippers on the road beat the Kings 131-117. In National Hockey, the Kinds were at home last night, losing to the Caps 2-1. And tonight, the Ducks are at home against the Caps. Moving on to more of a local vibe, in our community spotlight on health and wellness, we are working with a local Pilates studio to bring you some free classes. So listen up, here's what we love about Pilates. Pilates presents a comprehensive wellness approach, cultivating strength, reducing tension, and elevating mental well-being. Integrating mindful movements, it positively influences overall vitality. Scientific research affirms its benefits, connecting Pilates to enhanced core strength, improved flexibility, and better posture. So now you can check out Club Pilates in downtown Encinitas for a free class. And be sure to tell them that Sunny Mornings Encinitas sent you by. You're welcome. And now back to our show. In local news, Carlsbad's new Village Arts is set to name its new stage, the Ray Charles Stage, in honor of the legendary blues artist. Sponsored by Dr. Valerie Irvin and the Ray Charles Foundation, the ceremony precedes the opening night of Dia Hurston's musical, 1222 Oceanfront, A Black Family Christmas. The Ray Charles stage will host Hurston's musical, a story of a Christmas celebration with unexpected family drama. The production runs until December 24. And in entertainment news, this weekend in San Diego offers a plethora of options. Highlights include 
Elf the Musical at Welk Theater. Proof by Backyard Renaissance Theater and comedian Nimish Patel's show at Balboa Theater. Enjoy James Garner's tribute to Johnny Cash and the tree lighting celebration at the Forum in Carlsbad. Engage in holiday festivities with events like December Nights at Balboa Park and the Encinitas Holiday Parade. So much to do this weekend. Well, all righty, folks. It's time for the thought of the day. The same boiling water that softens the potato hardens the egg. It's what you're made of and not the circumstances. Now show him what you're made of today, young Padawan. And that's a wrap for this morning. Remember to stay tuned tomorrow for more news and updates. Have an amazing day, my good friends. Whether you're heading to work, an event, or just enjoying the day, stay safe and enjoy your day to the fullest. We'll be back tomorrow with another Sunny Mornings podcast. Thanks for tuning in.